What's up everyone, GTA King here with another video. This is the still working car to car merge. This is after the update of them putting snow in the game. It is official Christmas time in GTA 5. This glitch does work on new gen, old gen, and Xbox and PlayStation. So enjoy this glitch Why it's here. We might have it for a little while because I don't feel like nothing's probably going to get patched over the Christmas holidays, guys. If y'all watched my previous video that is up, it is the Give Avenger glitch. It is similar to the Merge glitch, but you will need a CEO, a Buzzard, you will need the Arena War, a Yacht, a friend in a different target mode and you will need a friend inside of your session to glitch with now I am doing a modded car giveaway four car giveaway today on December 22nd 2022 on my twitch channel so I will stream it live on my twitch all y'all will have to do is Message me for invite to the game. I will post uh, I will post the pictures of the cars on my social media platforms today as soon as these videos get out of the Avenger and the merge glitch. So this is an update video to show you that it still works. Now as always before make sure you have the right settings so you want to open your pause menu, go to online you want to go down to options and you are going to want to make sure your matchmaking set to closed and you want the allow spectator set to off and you want the join next mode from spectator box to set to don't join so you just want to be at the arena more and your friend that you're going to be glitching with is going to want to be at the LS car meet so you're going to start off by registering as your CEO if you are not registered as one from there you are going to bounce off of your person inside a different targeting mode so I'm going to use Anawak or you can use Try Me Fool now Try Me Fool is only on Xbox new gen Anawak does have accounts on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and on Xbox One, and on, uh, he does have accounts on, um, PlayStation 4 as well. So I'm just going to accept the first alert, decline the second, walk up to my ticket booth, press run D-pad, and sit on the, a, option to press to pay $10 for, the spectate so I'm going to wait for invite now for my person inside my session that's over at the LS car meet to tighten up a job once I'm on the alert he can back out so now that I'm on the alert all he can also do is just back out once he backs out out you just want to double tap that A button you want to listen for the three pumps on after the third pump, you want to press A, and if you spawn in with no mini map, you are good to go. But if you spawn into the arena war job, just back out of the arena war job and restart from bouncing off of someone inside a different target mode. So that time it did work. So now you just want the person inside the LS car meet to send you an invite to the LS car meet. Hey, so we're gonna wait for that invite to the LS car meet. Hey, once I get it, I will be able to go inside the LS car meet. Once inside the LS car meet, you just want to call the car that you want to pull the mods from. Once you call it out, doesn't matter who starts up the sprint race. It could be your friend or it can be you, the one that is modding. Now, more than one person can mod at the same time. Does not matter. So I'm just going to go here to my shop and we're just going to call out the right car. So once I call it out, 
1 to 10 here. I just want to start up a sprint race, so I'm going to start it up to show you where you start up at. Now, you and the person that is going to be in the sprint race will need to be uh, have memberships at the LS Car Meet. So, I'm just going to open up my interactions menu. I'm going to go to the LS Car Meet and I'm going to start up a sprint. Once I start it up, my friend's going to join it. Once he joins it, that from there we just wait for the sprint to start. So we're just gonna wait for the sprint <coughs> to start. Once it starts, we're gonna show you the next steps. So now my friend is going to want to drive around so he does not get kicked for being idle by you, the person that is glitching. Hang. Now up to three people can join the person that starts the sprint. So three of y'all can mod while the other person just drives around. Technically, if there's more than just you and the person that is, technically if there's more than just us two, then the person that wasn't modding, one that joined, that wasn't sitting inside the LS car meet, they don't have to join the sprint, or once inside the sprint, they can back out, out their self by starting up a job on their map. Yeah. So you gotta make sure your jobs are turned on before getting into the sprint. So I just want to head over here to the LS Customs. From here, you want to open up your interactions menu. You're gonna want to retire. Then you're gonna to want to re register as a CEO. Call out your buzzer. Now you only have a couple minutes to do this because if you wait too long, you would not be able to get into the LS Customs. So I just want to drive in, and I want to press B to get on the exit menu. And I want the whole wide to respawn. Now it will put me on infinite black loading screen. For the final time, you're going to want to bounce off of someone inside a different targeting mode. So accept the first alert, con the second. You will get a, a thing that says the job was unable. So you're going to press A on that. So you'll get three alerts, so you're accept the first one, the kind of second one, and you're accept the first, third alert. So from there, you want to make your way on foot to your buzzer, hop in it. So meanwhile, your friend just wants to be driving around, so he does not get kicked for being idle. And you just want to fly away, and you will respawn. Automatically, you don't have to hit any buttons to respawn. This game will make you respawn automatically. Once you respond, you just want to make your way to your yacht. So I did respond. So I just want to make my way to my Galaxy Super Yacht. This is where the yacht does come into play, guys. So I just want to make my way to the yacht. The yacht is coming up here, guys. So I'm just heading there. Once I get over my yacht, you just want to call your yacht captain. And sometimes you have to land on your yacht, or sometimes you have to be hovering over and just be very low, like over your yacht, so you can call it your personal vehicle. And it doesn't matter what garage it's stored in, you can call it any vehicle. So I just want to get over my yacht. I'm going to call my yacht captain. Once I call my yacht captain, I just want to wait till he picks up. And I want to go down to request personal vehicle. And I just want to get over my yacht to where 
I am hovering over it so I can get the option to select request personal vehicle so I can see on my list of garages so now I see my list of garages now I want to go and look for the car that I want to put the mods onto call it out wait a couple seconds here to make sure it spawns in on the map now I just want to hold Y to respawn and I'm going to spawn in on my in my car that I wanted to put the mods onto so as you see my car is now modded and we have successfully made this car now you want to do from here you just want to open up your pause menu and this is where your jobs do come into play and you're going to want to start up a job on your map and that's going to end the sprint race for your friend and you and you just want to back out of the sprint race and you just want to go and change one thing on the car or you can customize it the way you want to to save the car but this is a very easy merge glitch and if you know it well you can hit it back to back multiple times just repeat the steps from the arena war if you want to mod again so I'm just gonna make my way to Benny's so I can get some Benny's customizations on this car since this is a Benny's car but you don't have to go to Benny's if you don't want to now you can only use Benny's is if if you're putting the mods onto a Benny's car now uh, side note uh, as far as Benny's cars if you're pulling a mods from a car that has a interior a modded interior and you're trying to put it on Benny's car before you do that you will need to buy the Benny's car stock take it over to Benny's and upgrade it to the Benny's version because if you update it upgrade it to the Benny's version after modding it I will tell you now you will lose the modded interior so just keep that in mind on as far as if you are going to mod a Benny's car you want to buy your Benny's car stock first and you want to take it over to Benny's and you want to upgrade it to the Benny's version prior to modding it so I hope y'all did find this um, video very helpful and successful stay close to my social media platforms if I don't upload another video after the giveaway that happens today at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, make sure y'all stay tuned. I will try to be getting more glitches out in the coming days. But this is two working glitches right now. The facility gift cards the friend glitch does still work, guys. All glitches are still working after the update of the snow being putting inside the game so like I said I hope y'all find this glitch very successful and very easy and very very much uh, appreciate y'all's feedback on my channel and my videos and I couldn't have done uh, without all of y'all so thank you for the amount of views my channel has gotten so stay close and I will talk to y'all later and have you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't put out another video before the end of the year. Peace out and I'm gone.